The science is clear. Climate change is a threat to human well-being and the health of the planet. People are experiencing this reality today and every day. Climate change is leading to the loss of ecosystems and reduced food security. It is damaging the livelihoods, health and security of millions. It is increasing inequality and endangering socio-economic development. And critically, climate change is contributing to migration and displacement. The window of opportunity to act is rapidly closing. We have less than 10 years to keep global warming well below 1.5 degrees Celsius if we want to avert the worst impacts of climate change. We have seven years, seven years, to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals committed to in the 2030 Agenda. But we have no time left to avert displacements linked to climate change. They are already a reality today. The 27th Climate Change Conference, COP27, in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, is a key opportunity. At COP27, I joined the voices of UN leaders to call for urgent action to address human mobility. Firstly, we need to increase climate change adaptation action, measures and resources to avert and minimize displacement, and facilitate safe, orderly and regular migration whenever and wherever possible. Secondly, we need to strengthen our support to countries and those most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. We must strengthen efforts to address loss and damage. And certainly we need everyone to be involved, public and private sector partners, civil society, women, youth, indigenous peoples, migrants, displaced persons, and all communities affected by climate change. We must all be part of the decision-making process. At COP27, more than ever before, we have an obligation to deliver and ensure really that no one is left behind.